The NBA action continues on this Tuesday, November the 8th. Three games I'll be involved in tonight. Would like to get to them now quickly, starting in Memphis, where the Grizzlies host the Denver Nuggets. Memphis, a two and a half point favorite at BetSafe, 202.5 the total here. You know, heading into the season, most expected the Grizzlies to be better than the Nuggets, and this game is in Memphis. But the Grizz in a little bit of a funk of late. They've lost two straight and three of four, and they're banged up right now. Both Mike Conley and Tony Allen questionable for tonight's game. Well, if Conley can't go, that would be really big for this team. He really is the straw that stirs the drink in Memphis. Now, the Grizzlies will have their prized offseason acquisition Chandler Parsons in the lineup, but Parsons was very rusty in his first game of the year. That was Sunday, a game the Grizzlies lost to the Portland Trailblazers. Parsons missing all eight of his shots, finishing with zero points. Now, I'm sure he'll do a little better than that tonight, but I'll tell you what, these Nuggets playing some good basketball of late. They beat Boston 123-107 on Sunday to even their record at 3-3. Three three. Emmanuel Moutier, their young point guard, with 30 points. And I'll tell you what, if Moutier can produce like that offensively, this is going to be a really tough team to beat because they're very balanced. Six guys averaging in double figures right now for the Nuggets. They've got that great big man combo that's fun to watch, Nurkic and Jokic. I think the Nuggets better than the Grizzlies right now, and they might be catching the Grizzlies at a little bit of a, uh, a vulnerable time. So I think they go into Memphis and pick up the win tonight. I like Denver plus two and a half in that game. Moving on now to Sacramento, where the Kings host the New Orleans Pelicans. Sacramento a six-point favorite at BetSafe, 203 the total here. Look, the Pelicans 0-7. This is the second night of a the back-to-back. They just lost in Golden State last night. And the Kings have been playing a little bit better, maybe, than people thought to open the season. They've been competitive anyway, won their last game. So I think a lot of people look at the Kings here and say, hey, maybe this is a good spot for them playing a winless team. They're at home. Uh, that winless team they're playing, again, second night of a back-to-back. But you know what? The Pelicans, uh, as 0-7 teams go, they're not too bad. Now, six of their seven games have been decided by 10 points or fewer. Last night in Golden State, they were within six points heading into the fourth quarter. Anthony Davis, 33-13 and 13 in that game. He is averaging 30-11 and 11 on the year. The Kings do not have anybody who can handle Anthony Davis. And, you know, they moved Omar Ashik into the starting lineup. The Pelicans did. He should help them deal with De- DeMarcus Cousins. Ashik, one of the best defensive big men in the league. The way Sacramento is so inconsistent wouldn't shock you, would it, if they really let down tonight and lost this game to the Pelicans. I think the Pelicans, again, they've been keeping it close with just about everybody. It's early enough in the season where the second night of a back-to-back thing shouldn't really hurt them. I think they might be a good sneaky play tonight as a six-point dog in Sacramento. I am on New Orleans. Final game I'm on on this Tuesday, November the 8th. What about the L.A. Lakers at home playing the Dallas Mavericks? L.A., a five-point favorite at BetSafe, 205.5 the total here. The Lakers hot right now. They've won three games in a row, and one thing this team can do is put the ball in the basket. They have scored 117 points or more in all four of their wins this season. They're currently 4-3. and three. Just so happens that putting the ball in the basket is the one thing the Dallas Mavericks cannot do right now. Dirk Nowitzki injured. He'll be out for this game again, dealing with an Achilles injury. Darren Williams, their point guard, missed the last game, expected to be out tonight as well. And look, I know the Mavs won their first game of the season in their last game without Dirk or Darren Williams. And they beat the Milwaukee Bucks in overtime. The score at the end of regulation was 74 to 74. I mean, look at this Mavs lineup right now, and you just say, where are they going to get their offense? (laughs) Smith got heavy minutes in their last game, was firing away from three, I guess sort of replicating what Nowitzki gives them as far as the three-point shooting, you know, the, the stretch four or whatever. But... Obviously, Finney Smith, a poor man substitute for Dirk Nowitzki. Again, I just don't know how Dallas is going to score consistently with, really, it's going to be a recurring problem for Dallas all year, but especially without Nowitzki and Darren Williams. And as we said, the one thing the Lakers can do is score the ball. D'Angelo Russell and Julius Randle, both off to great starts this season. Lou Williams comes in, brings an instant uh, instant offense off the bench. Lakers sort of have a good vibe going right now. I think they pick up a convincing home win over the Dallas Mavericks tonight. I like LA plus five. There you have it. Those are my thoughts on this Tuesday, November the 8th. I like the Denver Nuggets plus two and a half on the road in Memphis. I like New Orleans plus six in Sacramento. And I like the LA Lakers minus five at home against the Dallas Mavericks. Folks, I wish you best of luck in whatever you decide to do on this Tuesday night, just so long as your interests don't conflict with my interests.